Hi, my name's John and I am a hospice volunteer and I'm also a CMP which is a certified music practitioner which means I've been trained to play for people in such places as hospice and nursing homes and residences and I play a wide variety of music. Most of the time in a hospice house I would play uh, soft guitar music. That would be the majority of what I play. I'll give you an example. So very often I play a classical piece like that and depending on the patient and how the patient is doing and how they're responding to the music, I may adjust uh, for songs or I may adjust for tempo. Most of the time uh, people find this music very relaxing and you can, you can see, visibly see them relax after a few minutes. Um, and sometimes also, I think it's beneficial for patients, I think you know that they, they may have their eyes closed and they look like they're sleeping, but they're really not sleeping and part of them is listening. And I think this kind of music would be appropriate for them also. Um, also, you know, depending on the patients, if they're uh, a little hard of hearing, I could maybe play something a little louder. But again, it's uh, basically a slower, slower tempo music, uh, and and also most of, most people find it uh, very relaxing and very soothing, which is the point of the playing. Now, now, if we have a patient who's just recently arrived, and they're in pretty good shape, and they may want to hear some songs, you know, from a time when they were younger, you know, I can play also like that, and they. You know, enjoy, they may enjoy something like You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray So I might play something like that for them and you know depending on, I have a wide variety of, of music to, to pick from in my repertoire so uh, it encompasses quite a few different time periods and um, so, you know, that's it's good for patients to uh, take their mind off their troubles and hear some familiar music. Um, and it's also for patients that are suffering with uh, memory issues, uh, playing songs like that also uh, is, is good for them. A patient may be nonverbal and they may, uh, may not have spoken for quite a long time. But when I play music for them, very often they perk right up and they start singing along. Um, so it has a lot of benefits. Uh, well, hopefully this will give you, uh, you know, a brief idea of, you know, what to expect uh, for me to be playing for a patient. And uh, I hope this uh, gives you, you know, a bit of a picture of, uh, of what I would do. Thanks for watching.